circles. They're everywhere you look. Pizza, wheels, eyeballs, even your coffee mug. But have you ever stopped to wonder what makes a circle so perfectly? Well, circular. There's another kind of pie involved here too, but fear not, math lovers. We're not just here for dessert, although pie is pretty awesome. In the world of math, pie unlocks the secrets of circles, and it's way cooler than you might think. But what exactly is pie? Textbooks are full of confusing formulas, but who needs those when you've got a kitchen full of possibilities? Today, we're ditching the textbooks and grabbing some everyday objects. We're going on a journey to understand Pi in a way that makes sense, no matter who you are. Get ready to have your mind blown. Pi is an irrational number, which means that it has an infinite number of non-repeating digits. We can find Pi by measuring the circumference and diameter of a circle. To do this, we need to wrap a string around the circle and then measure the length of the string. We then need to measure the distance across the circle from one side to the other. If we divide the circumference by the diameter, we will get a number that is very close to pi. See? Pi isn't scary at all. It's just a special number that helps us understand circles. And guess what? It shows up in all sorts of cool places, from building bridges to calculating the size of planets. In textbooks, Pi is used to calculate the area of a circle, the volume of a sphere, and the circumference of an ellipse. Speaking of circles, did you know there's a whole day dedicated to Pi? It's March 14th. This date was chosen because the first three digits of Pi are 3, 1, and 4. So grab a slice of Pi, maybe try memorizing a few digits of Pi, and celebrate the magic of math. On Pi Day, people celebrate Pi by eating Pi, reciting Pi digits, and participating in Pi-related activities. Here are some additional facts about pi. Pi is one of the oldest known mathematical constants. The first known calculation of pi was done by the Babylonians in the second millennium BC. The Chinese mathematician Liu Hui calculated pi to seven decimal places in the third century AD. The Indian mathematician Madhava calculated pi to 39 decimal places in the 14th century AD. The first computer calculation of pi was done in 1949 by John von Neumann and his team at the ENIAC computer. The current record for the most digits of pi calculated is 62.8 trillion digits. So there you have it. We learned that pi is the constant ratio between a circle's circumference and its diameter. It's a number that pops up everywhere in math and science, and understanding pi unlocks a whole world of calculations. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more explorations into the fascinating world of math. Thanks for watching.